Hi everyone, welcome to this week's edition of the Water Networks blog. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is George Carroll, I'm the Performance and Change Lead. A couple of key topics we'll be talking around today. So first of all will be around um, leakage, our current position, um, and I suppose what we, what we need to do to finish the year strongly over the next couple of weeks. Second of all will be around objectives and IGPs and just a bit of a prompt from me around what we need to do um, in, in getting ready for those over, over the coming weeks. Um, and finally, just a bit of an update around the WPO Road to Gold um, improvement plan uh, and some of the work we've been doing with those guys. So conscious that's gone a bit quiet recently, so just a bit of an update from me around how, that, how that's moving forward. Um, so first of all, leakage then. So this year, I think in summary, we needed a huge reduction in leakage in order to hit our target. And largely speaking, we've been doing that throughout the year. So we've been hitting record um, low levels of DMA leakage throughout the year. Some of our best find weeks that we've had as well. So some real strong weeks, especially recently with over 800 leaks being found. Um, I suppose it's fair to say though we have had our challenges, so we have had a number of outbreaks, um, in particular in mid-January we did have that um, cold spike. Um, however, we've done a great job of recovering from those and we are now on a path to getting back to those low levels which we did see pre-Christmas, so real great work to everybody um, involved in that. Um, I suppose key message though is we just need to continue to do what we've already been doing, so we don't need anyone to do anything fundamentally different, we just need to continue to do what we've been doing all year, so make sure we're finding um, the leaks, finding the leaks at the right um, the right volume of leaks, making sure that it leaks at the right quality, and then from an R&M perspective, make sure um, we're focusing on those, delivering them first time around. Um, all in all, just continue to do what you've been doing already, and we should finish the year strongly. Second of all is around IGPs and objectives. So yes, it is that time of year again where we do need to, to, to focus on those. Um, key difference this year, we'll be um, introducing a new IGP calculator. Essentially a real simple tool which helps just summarise everybody's objectives um, and with clear links to all the performance metrics which helps have, I suppose, real tangible conversations um, as we approach um, those end of year reviews. Um, just key ask for me is just make sure you get those booked in as soon as possible. It will fly around before you know it, so yeah, please just get ahead of the game on that and just get those get those planned in. Final update from me is just around the WPO um, Road to Gold improvement activity. So um, we did have a number of con um, consultants who were working with us um, towards the back end of last year. Um, we've got a real um, clear series of outputs. So some of them um, we will be taking forward. We've been doing a lot of work with um, the new WPO business lead, Michael Bilson, who, who's now new in role and, and settling in. So between myself and Michael, we'll be um, pulling together a bit of a plan around, um, around what we need to, to do to deliver the right outputs off the back of that programme. Um, so yeah, keep your eyes eyes peeled for that, and if you've got any questions, please reach out to your business lead, business lead or myself. Um, and that's all from me. So hope you've enjoyed listening. I hope you all have a good weekend, um, and I'll catch you soon. Cheers.